Hey there, and welcome to this video about Xdebug. So first, what is Xdebug? Well, it's a debugging tool. It states here that it is an extension for PHP to assist with debugging and development. So this means that we can use Xdebug for uh, debugging our PHP code. We can find errors quicker than if we just use var dump and echo statements to basically output the state of the application. So we can see that we have a new, there was a, a new version released of Xdebug, version three, that was uh, released in the end of 2020. And this video will be about Xdebug three, so it will probably not work uh, out of the box with Xdebug two or the previous versions. But first, if we, uh, I'm running on Windows here, and if we uh, should install Xdebug, we can see there is an install menu item up here, and then you select the operating system that you have. Uh, we have Linux and Mac OS and also Windows and, and Unix. So uh, if we click on Windows for this, uh, we can either go to the download page and find the correct uh, Windows binary for our PHP version. And uh, then you can, you can see it is a DLL file that we will get. And we can put this into exam for MAMP or WAMP, uh, whatever Apache PHP uh, web server we have. If you are a little unsure about the PHP, exactly the version, and you want to have a bit more help, you can also follow these instructions that will provide you with an installation wizard. And that will ask you for some information about PHP. And the way we get this is that we we need to get the PHP info. And if you are using exam or MAMP or WAMP, usually you have in your local web server, you will have a menu item called PHP info. So if you click on that, we can see we get all this debugging information about PHP. And then we can basically copy everything. And then we can go back to our wizard here, we can copy this in there, and then click the Analyze My PHP Info Output. Then the website will tell you that, yes, we're running Windows, and we are running 7.3.9 in the PHP version, and the path for the configuration file, the PHP EV file. And it will also tell you exactly what file you need to download that is suitable for your PHP. So first we're going to download the PHP xdebug file here, the DLL. And we can see here, let's just keep it. And again, I want to keep it. It might be harmful, this DLL. And we can see that. Then we should move the downloaded file to this path here. OK, see exam, exam, PHP, and extensions. So let's open up File Explorer. And we provide the path there. So we can see we have all the PHP extensions in here at the moment. And if we just open an extra one and we find the downloads folder, we can see we have, I downloaded it twice. So I'm just going to take this one there. And we can copy this and place it into the extensions library. OK. So then we have this PHP xdebug file here. Next thing is that we need to go to our PHP EV file and then add this line. Okay, so we will tell the PHP EV that we want to use this send extension. So I'm just going to copy that as well and let's open up an editor to uh, allow us to edit the PHP EV file. Yeah, we can see I already uh, opened the file here. Otherwise, we just go to open file and we can navigate to uh, the C drive and exam and PHP. And then we can find the PHP e file down here. PHP e source file. So this is the main configuration file for PHP. And if we go down to the very bottom of this file there, we can see that we don't have any information about Xdebug. So we're going to make a new section called xdebug and we're going to paste in this uh, line of code that was provided to us uh, from the wizard and uh, that should be enough 
we still need to have one more, uh, a couple of more lines uh, to make it work in Visual Studio Code here. This version of Xdebug uh, works in a way where you have these uh, modes. If you go and look at the documentation, uh, you can see here installation, all the installation about that. Uh, if you want to configure PHP, uh, the settings, there is a whole bunch of different settings for uh, Xdebug. And one of the core settings is this Xdebug mode that will control what features we have in Xdebug. So it can be set to one of these or multiple of these values. So we all, uh, either have the off, which means we don't have any debugging, and all the way down to the trace where we can, s we can actually record every function call, including arguments. We also have debug that will allow us to step through our code while it is running and analyze values of variables. So that is a nice thing that we can inspect the state of our web application. So if we, uh, and we can provide multiple as it says down here, we can say develop and also trace. So this line of uh, code here, we also provide. And I think we're just going to take debug right now. But I really encourage you to read in this documentation about this, uh, all the different configurations and the settings that you have. The last setting we need is also xdebug start with request. Yes. This will allow us to, from within a, an IDE, like Visual Studio Code, to start the debugger or listen for xdebug and then we can inspect it afterwards. So this is what this does. Okay, so xdebug mode and xdebug start with request. Let's save this and then we need to just minimize this and go to our web server and then let's uh, restart Apache. Then we will see if it turns green again. This is nice, so we have green light there. If we go to PHP info again and we refresh it, we can see that if we search for xdebug, uh, there's a section down here that is about xdebug and it says we have version 3.3. Then we have the different features with the xdebug mode setting and we can see we've enabled the step debugger for now. And then there's a whole bunch of other settings that we can use to configure xdebug. Okay, so this is basically how you make uh, xdebug work with PHP. And in the next video, we will talk a little bit about how we can configure Visual Studio Code to use xdebug to debug our PHP code. All right, so thanks for watching and hope you make this work. Bye-bye.